the third eye chakra explained. So the third eye chakra is the sixth primary chakra and it's located between the eyebrows at the center of the forehead. So some people call it the pineal gland. Um, you'll probably hear people say, open your third eye a lot and they are talking about this chakra. So this chakra serves as the gateway to higher consciousness and spiritual insight. A balanced third eye chakra can keep us tapped into our intuition, trust, our inner guidance, and it helps us to see beyond the limitations of the five physical senses. So practices, um, mind practices, especially like meditation, visualization, visual, visualization <laughs> and mindfulness can help open and balance the third eye chakra. It helps to quiet the mind and it enhances our ability to perceive subtle energies and inner truths. Now, an unbalanced third eye chakra can manifest in a lot of ways. It's going to affect our perception, our intuition, and our connection to higher consciousness. So here are some common signs and symptoms um, letting you know that your third eye chakra may be unbalanced. So let's say your third eye chakra is overactive. Um, you're kind of up in the clouds all the time, right? You're excessively fantasizing or daydreaming. Um, you can have difficulty distinguishing between fantasy and reality. You can feel overwhelmed by psychic or intuit intuitive experiences. And you can have like an excessive focus on anything spiritual. You can actually get to the point where you're having hallucinations and delusions. So that we don't want that <laughs> overactive third eye because we want to stay grounded. Now, do, let's just say your third eye is underactive. If it's underactive, then you can have difficulty accessing intuition or inner guidance. Okay, you can feel disconnected from spiritual or higher consciousness. You can have a lack of imagination or creative inspiration. You can have rigid thinking patterns, kind of be stuck in your ways, not, not able to see the big picture. Okay, and that's for an underactive third eye chakra. Now, there are also other symptoms. There are physical symptoms. Um, you could have headaches or migraines, especially in the forehead area. You can have eye problems, vision issues, sinus issues, or allergies, all from this chakra. There are also emotional and mental symptoms. So you see how this kind of encompasses everything. And as we go higher in the chakras, each chakra kind of gets more important um, as far as how it interacts with the other chakras. Spiritual symptoms. You can feel spiritually disconnected. You can feel lost. Difficulty accessing higher states of consciousness or altered states of awareness. You can have a lack of spiritual insight or understanding and disrupted sleep patterns or vivid dreams. So we can see why balancing this chakra is very important because this is the one that acts like the window to our highest consciousness. So once this is achieved, you'll be able to see the world in a different light, sort of a higher dimension. And that light will take you to the final chakra, which is the crown chakra.